Hello, Prerna here. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. As you all know, we are learning CBSE Board Maths Textbook of Grade 6. In previous videos, we learned about to find greatest and smallest number from given number of series. To make greatest and smallest number from given digits. To write number name and expansion of numbers. If you want to watch these videos, link is there in the description. In today's video, we will solve questions which are there on page number 8 in your textbook. Before moving to the question, we will discuss about smallest number and greatest number according to digits. As everyone know, one digit smallest number is 0 and one digit greatest number is 9. After 9, two digit number starts so two digit smallest number is 10 and two digit greatest number is 99. After 99, three digit number starts so three digit smallest number is 100 and three digit greatest number is 999. Same way, 4 digit smallest number is 1000 and 4 digit, 4 digit greatest number is 9999. From this point, we understood that if we have to write smallest say 7 digit number, then first position will be 1 and remaining places will be zeros. And if we have to write greatest number, then all digits be 9. That means if we have to write 7 digit greatest number, then write 9 7 times. Okay. Let's move to the question now. On page number 8, you have question as complete the pattern. Before solving this, just understand when we add 1 in 1 digit greatest number, then we will get 2 digit smallest number and so on. Look at the first pattern they have given. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Here 9 is 1 digit greatest number and we are adding 1 here and then we got 2 digit smallest number. Okay, now in the second pattern, here the 99 is the 99 is the greatest two digit number. We are adding one in that and we are getting three digit smallest number. So when we will add uh, one in three digit greatest number, we will get four digit smallest number. Same way here. Uh, it is 4 digit greatest number is adding in 1. Then we will get 5 digit smallest number. Same way here we will get 6 digit smallest number. Then here we will get 7 digit smallest number and so on. Okay. Let's move to the next question. In the next question they are asking us. What is 10 minus 1? Before answering this, I want, to, I want you to understand when we subtract 1 from 2 digit smallest number, then we will get 1 digit greatest number and so on. See here, in the first question, it is 2 digit smallest number is, um, is taken and from that we are subtracting 1. Then what we will get? We will get one digit greatest number. Same way here it is three digit smallest number and one is subtracting from that. Okay. Then we will get two digit greatest number. Same way here we get three digits uh, greatest number. Here four digit greatest number. Then here five digit greatest number. Here six digit greatest number and so on. Okay, now I want to explain you about the points which is given in the box with heading remember on page number 8. The first point says 
100 is equal to 10 tens. You must be thinking, how is it possible? Let's see. As everyone know, 100 can be written as 10 into 10. This means 100 is 10 times 10. So it can be written as 100 is equal to 10 tens. Okay. Let's check next point. It says 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds which is equal to 100 tens. Now let's check how this is possible. Okay. 1000 can be written as 10 into 100. Okay. This means 1000 is 10 times 100. So it can be 10 hundreds. Okay. So again they have told 1000 is also equal to 100 tens. Let's check uh, here. See 1000 can be written as 100 into 10. This means 100 times 10. So, 1000 can be equal to 100 tens. Okay, let's see the next point. The next point says that 1 lakh is equal to 100,000 which is equal to 1,000 hundreds. Okay, let's see how it works. As you all know, 1 lakh is equal to 100 into 1000. So, it can be say that 100 times 1000. So, we can say 1 lakh is equal to 100 thousands. Understood, na? Okay. Uh, again, they have told 1 lakh is equal to 1000 hundreds. Then, 1 lakh can be written as 1000 into 100. That means 1000 times 100. Which can be also say that 1000 hundreds. Okay. Let's see the next point. The next point says that 1 crore is equal to 100 lakhs, which is also equal to 10,000 thousands. So, we can write 1 crore is equal to 100 into 1 lakh, which can be also written as 100 times 1 lakh. That means 100 lakhs. Okay. Again, they have told 1 crore is equal to 10,000 thousands. Let's see. 1 lakh is equal to 10,000 into 1,000. We can also say 10,000 times 1,000. So, we can write 1 crore is equal to 10,000 thousands. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Here the question is, give 5 examples where the number of things counted would be more than 6 digit number. Here we have to give 5 examples which, um, which are vast when counted. Okay, The first example which I can think of, number of celestial bodies in space. As everyone know, it is vast. The space is vast and contains millions of celestial bodies. So, we can give the example of this. The next examples are number of letters in a novel. As everyone know, in a novel there are many more letters. Okay. Next example, population of India. Of course, our population of India is uh, one, uh, 135 crore okay and next is hairs on our head next is blood cells in our body if we start counting these things we will get more than six digit number okay let's check the next question the next question is starting from the greatest six digit number write the previous five numbers in descending order in the starting only uh, in the starting of this video only, I have told you that if you have to write 
greatest number of six digit uh, if you have to write the greatest number then all digits must be nine okay so here we have to write six digits then we have to write nine six times so the greatest six digit number be nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine Next, what they have told? Write the previous five numbers in descending order. Uh, before this number comes nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety eight. Then comes uh, nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety seven. Then nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety six. Then nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five. Nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety four. We have to write these numbers in descending order. Actually, this only is the descending order because here the starting only is greatest number and it goes to smallest number. Okay. Let's move to the next question. The next question says, starting from the smallest eight digit number, write the next five numbers in ascending order and read them. In the before only I have told that uh, whenever we have to write smallest number, then the first position be one and remaining places will be zero. Here we have to write smallest eight digit number. Then first position be one and remaining seven digits will be zero. Okay, so the smallest eight digit number is one crore. And now we have to write next five numbers. The next five numbers will be one crore one, one crore two, one crore three, one crore four, one crore five. Now we have to write this ascending order. Means smallest to uh, greatest number. The ascending order is this one. Okay. Uh, in this video, we will stop here. And if you like my teaching, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. And if you want to ask anything, then comment in the comment box. And thanks for watching. Bye.